Do you need to build a customer self-service portal? Well, we have you covered here on Knack. Let me show you how right now. Welcome to Knack. My name is George. And on this video, I am going to show you how to build your customer self-service portal. You'll be amazed how easy it is to get started with a portal that's going to be customizable to your business. Now, the idea of Knack is to have a no-code solution, so nothing's going to be complex at all. So let's get started. This is my Knack dashboard. You can get started with AI, with a template, or with importing your data. But if you choose a template, just go ahead and search for customer in this case, and you'll be able to find templates that will maybe suit your needs. But if you don't find one that fits your needs, in this case, I'll get started with AI, and I prepared a prompt where I can tell it what I need for my portal. So I tell it what my business is about and things that I need in my portal. So in this case, frequently asked questions, a knowledge base, etc. right? So in this case, let's go ahead and create and AI is going to do its magic. So let's get a few seconds and it'll be ready in a gym. Here we go. Our customer self-service portal is now ready and AI generated for us seven pages. These pages belong to certain sections that we need for our portal. Now let's go ahead and see this portal in live mode. So let's go into go to live app and we're able to actually get the feel of how this portal will behave. All of this can be customizable in the editor. Okay, So we have the dashboard. We got a customer section. We have our order section. We're able to view all of these. We got our support tickets, documents, knowledge base, and frequently asked questions. So all of this can be customizable here. Now you can see here that we're in the pages section. And if I select the pages, I'm able to select the elements and customize each one of these elements by selecting them. I can change the look and style of the graphs. I can change the sections. I can move them around and I can go ahead and select other pages to make changes as needed. Now, as I mentioned before, this will grow with your business. So if you need to create more pages, just click on the plus button. You'll have an option to create a page or a drop down menu. Now, in order for us to lock these pages to certain user roles, we have several options. One is by selecting, for example, this page by clicking on the menu, then selecting protect page with login. And we have the option to request users to log in in order for them to view this page. So select yes. We also have the option to say yes with pending approval. And if you want to have designated user roles to use certain pages, go ahead and select specific user roles only. Go ahead and select it and select the user roles that will have access to certain sections. So if I would just want customers to view this one, I go ahead and select it or maybe just administrators. Let's go ahead and add the login and we'll be able to view a lock in these sections now. Now, this is just for a certain page that I've selected right now. But if I want to lock everything and then select what user roles I want to lock, I would jump into settings, go to user logins, and in user logins, I would secure individual pages with the same login. Let's go ahead and save this. It's now successfully activated. Let's go to pages and now we are viewing a lock on all the pages. And then we can set what user roles would have access to certain sections of these pages. Now, for the user roles, those are going to be found here in the users. Now, AI generated for us, in this case, two user roles, customers and administrators. Now, if I need to create a different user role, I just go ahead and click on the plus role and name the role and then add the fields that we want for this role. Now, in this case, if I select customers, I'm able to view all the customers that are created right here. And I'm able to manually add customers if I need to by adding a user. Now, if I click on fields and I'll be able to remove fields or add fields as needed. And if I need to add a field, go ahead and click on add field, select the data type, and it will be added here. So if you need to create a user role, go ahead and add the needed fields and you'll have a user role ready to go with the details needed for that specific user role. Now on the right, there's a really important feature, which is connection fields. You can set how they will be connected. So in this case, for example, orders are connected to customers, support tickets and documents. If I need to create a new connection because I have a new database, for example, I'll click on connections, set the name, the data type, the relationship for this, for example, all users or certain users, the records and the records and, and set that connection right here. There's also the validation rules, conditional rules and tasks, which are all easy to set up here on NAC. Now, the most important part about NAC is the actual data that is here to be used in all of these sections. For that, we're going to jump into tables. Now, in this case, AI generated for us these tables. So orders, support tickets, documents, launch base, etc. If we need to create a table, go ahead and click on add table. And we have several options available. Google Sheets, a premium table, an Excel, CSV, or a blank table for us to add them manually. 
Now, in these tables, each one of them have fields. So in fields, we're able to set the type of data that will be needed in each one of these tables. So it's really easy to set up. And again, if you needed to add a field, go ahead and click on add field and select the data type that you want for that data field. So if you need to create a new table, go ahead and click on table and add the fields and then start adding your records here, either manually or via a CSV. Now, I also want to show you the themes. I'll select the theme that's activated right now, and I'm able to change the style from here. So I can change fonts, the table designs, the appearance, the colors in layout. I can add my navigation style, the page width, title and logo, add my logo right here, sizes, and I'm able to change the look of the theme for my portal right here. So it's just super easy to set up everything here on NAC. And I also recommend that you go to settings, set up your core settings, and you'll be good to go with your customer self-service portal. So it's just super easy, fast, practical, and scalable to build your portals here on NAC. So get started right now with a free trial account. And don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that little bell notification to get notified when new videos come out. And that's a wrap.